Meet Naomi, a professional burglar who can drive a pretty bean machine, helpful in the upcoming apocalypse. Naomi and her crew head over to rob a house, as you do as a professional burglar. Luckily though, in Project Zomboid, it is not hard to rob a house because half of the doors are unlocked. Naomi quickly raids the fridge. The rest of her crew doesn't seem to find anything useful besides a frying pan and the other one. I, got, I found a gun. Okay, that also works as a weapon. Turns out this isn't anybody's house. This is a ranger's house. A very foolish ranger who for some reason didn't lock their door. Naomi has just hit the jackpot. As the entire crew tries to steal the ranger's car, a zombie horde begins to approach. In a panic, we trigger the alarm and set the whole neighborhood full of zombies after us. Not good. We decide to strategize for the upcoming apocalypse. Luckily, you don't need to strategize a lot because the zombies are dumb. But so are we. In the zombie apocalypse, one of the first things we need is food. So we head into the local stores. There are a few zombies here, but the stores are totally worth it. There are cars, there's food. There is a VHS store, which to watch VHSs and learn. Success! We could get some basic supplies here, but the city isn't safe. The entire world isn't safe. The plan now is to steal a taxi and drive off into a safer environment. Luckily, that's not hard because Naomi is a professional burglar. We get out of the city. We have been driving for about five hours and in an exhausted state, we crash into a broken down vehicle. This is when we notice that the car begins to have issues and repeatedly starts shutting down at random times. Turns out this will be important later. But for now, we have no alternative. The thing we crashed into is even worse than the one we have. So we keep driving. We've been driving for about an entire day. We're tired and we're drinking river water and eating raw avocados. We should have brought more food on our trip. Pro tip for the zombie apocalypse. Snacks are absolutely essential. The more we drive, the less fun our road trip becomes. The car keeps shutting down and none of us know how to fix it. And as much as this car sucks, walking isn't an option. We have to ride the broken down vehicle. Eventually, we drive into a zombie horde where the car conveniently turns off. Oh no, start car. Guys, I'm getting out. Guys, the two crime committing duos manage to get out of the car and escape. But since Naomi is in the driver's seat and closest to the horde, she cannot escape. Naomi is consumed by the horde. With her partners in crime, now desperate, with absolutely no vehicle, and seemingly in the middle of nowhere with a giant horde after them, they would soon meet the same fate. Uh, yeah, cool. Anyways, new to the apocalypse is Carly Thatcher. We don't know much about her because I forgot to pick an occupation for her. What we do know is that she's scared of blood and really weak, so not the best at handling an apocalypse. Carly was in the center of town when this all happened, and desperate, she ran from house to house, grabbing whatever she could. Carly was quickly losing it. She was applying clown makeup to her own face. Things are good. <laughs> Things were not looking so good. That's when she found a note telling her that she could survive the apocalypse if she got to these resources, which could be found in these locations. That was her ticket into a good life in the apocalypse. Some kid died writing that letter, and now you get to be the rich person who finds it. Carly had struck the gold. She quickly headed over there and quickly ran into a problem. Um, a big fence. Turns out Carly had never exercised in her life. She tried to jump the fence three times and was winded so much that she couldn't run. The bigger problem was that by not being able to jump the fence, she had caused so much noise that attracted zombies. By this point, Carly was already so exhausted that the only thing she could do is barely walk and drink some orange juice. So she did, right before quickly getting consumed by the horde. That is Project Zomboid. Turns out it's a lot harder to survive in the apocalypse and I certainly can't do it. But you know who is an expert at surviving the apocalypse though? All of these patrons, yep, they would survive more than two days, which none of my characters managed to do. I don't even think they lasted an entire day. They just died quickly. 